we've got some freaking packages. Let's open this stuff up, guys. We have an awesome unboxing today. Uh, I'm gonna put these things down and get ready to open these things up. Safety first. All right, so this, this one's fairly light. We know what this is. Well, you guys don't, but I do. I know what it is. We got this box here, which we're gonna open up, which is some awesome stuff from Miller Electric. Yeah, that's right. Miller Electric, you know those welding guys? One more box, the heavy one. Oh yeah. This is the beefy one, right, huh? <sighs> All right, I'm super stoked to uh, set this thing up. So I hope you guys are too, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. I have a huge, huge, huge unboxing today from Miller Electric. This stuff is going to make a great addition to the shop and a great addition to my garage because we're doing that S52 swap coming up on the BMW E30 and oh man, we need to do some modifications so let's make it happen. For the first box, what do we got here? Let's dig into it. We got these, it comes Oh yeah, it comes, sorry, sorry headphone users, sorry about that. It comes with those, you don't really care about those. First off, Miller Electric Metal Worker Gloves right here. Very, very nice. I went with the mediums on these because that seemed to be the appropriate size. Let's see how they fit. Ooh, I like them nice and tight. Now, yeah, for me, yep, they actually feel really, really good. So for me, I usually wear a large glove size, but you know, it really all depends on the brand of product. So with these Millers right here, it looks like these metal workers are going to be amazing. They sent me multiple pairs, which is super, super cool. That's, that's great because we all know gloves get destroyed, right? So those, look at those. Neoprene here and then some Velcro right there to keep them nice and tight. So we got six pairs of those. That is gonna last a while. That's gonna be nice. All right, so we'll take these off. Oh yeah. And we'll get Miller safe. Woo! Stepping on stuff, stepping on stuff. We got some Miller Electric safety glasses in here, which are always a great idea when you're working in the shop. So let's, let's try these bad boys out. Mm -mm, look so pretty, I look so pretty. These are the slag black and clear glasses. So pretty much your, uh, your basic safety glass, but these work great whenever you're working on anything in the shop, when you're working with metal or, you know, if you're welding or anything, when you're welding, you're welding a bead, you know, you have your hood on, which we'll get into next, but you have your hood on and you pop your hood up and you brush off some slag, either some slag or anything, even after a bead can actually pop you right in the eye. Always wear safety glasses when doing metalworking or working in the shop. So you guys will see me wearing safety glasses throughout these whole videos, but that is why you wanna wear them because you only get one set of eyes. Uh, you know, metal in your eyes, not cool. Let's not do that, yeah. So, safety glasses, check. What do we have next? A bunch of pairs, this, oh yeah, oh yeah. So I went with mediums on these. Now the welding gloves, because I've had the welding gloves before and I always went with large on the welding gloves. So we got this giant bag of MIG welding gloves and MIG, if you guys do not know, MIG stands for metal inert gas. So that is what that word actually stands for, but that's because it uses an inert gas along with its wire feed process. And you know, obviously the welder itself to, well, to lay down some clean beads, right? So that's what a shielding gas is. It's the inert gas. These feel good and large to me. Like I said, uh, nice and thick right here. Top grain cowhide, uh, double padded here, and they will just keep out a ton of that heat. So. I see way, way, way too many people welding without the proper PPE. You see people doing it without gloves? That is so stupid, guys. Two reasons. One, huge is burns, obviously. Welding stuff makes things get hot, right? It's gonna put all that amperage, all that heat into your metal, and you're gonna melt your freaking finger off in about two seconds. So when you see those guys on TV or you see someone, just realize that they're just being lazy. So you always wanna wear gloves. You're gonna get a cleaner bead with gloves because you're gonna be able to get in there, you know, get the proper ergonomics, not be scared to burn yourself basically, and you're gonna have that protection. These are fleece lined on the inside, so they're they are nice and warm, but you know, they're gonna keep you safe. Right? Number one is burns, obviously. Number one is burns, 
cuts, I guess that could be number two. Number three is UV burns, which is what a lot of people don't think about, but you can get a sunburn in like five seconds from this thing. It's uh, crazy, you know, the UV light that these welders put out can toast your skin, causing skin cancer, causing sunburns. You don't want that, trust me. So wearing gloves is always good. I've been wanting like a clean one of these for so, so long. And this one is badass right here. This is the uh, combo welding jacket with the power of blue, right? The Miller welding jacket. Barracuda style. Stand up collar, whatever that means. I guess that means that it's like up up top like that. Uh, it's premium leather. It's, it's FR rated, this jacket, guys. So, huge, huge things here. You are not going to burn yourself. You're not gonna melt yourself to death. And you're not gonna get that UV burn when you are wearing the proper PPE. So this, woo, that is stiff. We're gonna need to break this bad boy in. This is the medium here, and it feels pretty dang good. So nice. I'm definitely gonna have to break in these arms. This is super cool, check this out, guys. This right here, boom, I can button that up. Why is that cool? I'll tell you why. You're welding overhead, right? You got your TIG torch, you got your, your MIG gun, whatever, you got your stick, electrode, bah, getting in there. What are we gonna do? We're gonna shoot freaking slag down our arm. Now, if I have this coat on, check this out. How, how am I gonna get stuff down my sleeve? I'm not, that's great. If you guys have welded enough, everyone that's welded, you know you're gonna get something down your shirt, you're gonna get down some of your sleeve, your pants, whatever. It doesn't feel too good. So that is a great, look, I'm, woo, yeah, that's sick. You can put some pins in the pocket right here, you know? Looks really, really good. I'm gonna have to break this in. It's super stiff right now, but, ooh. For the last item of the personal protective equipment, we got this right here, the Digital Infinity Series welding hood or welding mask. It has a large viewing area, this is, a very, very nice auto dimming mask. As you can see, when this mask is up, if I didn't have my safety glasses on, I have no eye protection, right? So, flick it down, boom. We got this little sticker. Let's take that off, but man, the viewing area is huge in this. Can you see that? It is very, very big. Clear light lens technology, high definition optics. You can replace the plastiques on the front of this welding hood which is awesome because what happens here is this gets splatter on it. You have your auto dimming glass or your LED panel right here. And you know, all you gotta basically do is hit your on button. This one is very cool because it has the shades. So you can change it from lighter to darker. So it goes from shade eight to, it looks like 13. So if you want a really dark shade, you're gonna go 13. And if you want it lighter for like TIG or something like that, you can go to, uh, you know, all the way up to eight. Delay, you can change delay. So basically, as soon as this thing sees a bright light, how quick is it gonna auto dim that mask? You can change that in there. Has a grind mode as well, which is very cool. I think that is great. You know, so if you do want to uh, throw this hood on and do some grinding, that is not an issue. Sweet. This is awesome. This is. This is so cool, guys. I've been needing a uh, a good welder for a while, so what do we want to see next? You guys want to see the actual welder itself? I bet you do. This is kind of warm. I'm gonna keep wearing it though. I want to break it in. Ooh, there we go. It's uh, ugh. it's not the lightest thing ever. Not the lightest thing ever, but it's also not the heaviest welder either. <sighs> this axe, axe looks good. That'll, that'll. That'll do as well. We got the unaxing. What do we got here first? We got the M100 gun. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with a spool of wire, but it actually does, which to my, that that is huge. To my surprise, I did not think it was gonna have that. So, you know, we have our different welding tips for the MIG gun. 030 uh, welding tips for the MIG gun. It makes sense that it would come with 030 because it came with a spool of 030. We got our uh, our gas hose for our gas here. Got some nice straps that we're gonna make look all nice. I, I thought that was the MIG gun, but it's not the MIG gun. Okay, it's just the stinger here. The electrode stinger looks to be of you know good quality right there for stick welding. And then we have the ground 
for any sort of welding. So we got that ground here, which is very nice. Looks to be very high quality. Has a nice strap on it. Oh yeah. Look at that. It looks good. Multi-voltage plug, which is the MVP. So you can change from the 220 right here. So this is the 220, or you can even put in a 120 volt plug. I would always recommend to stay with the 220 unless you have with the 120, just because you're gonna have, you're gonna have more juice, right? Um, but not everyone has that. So that is why this is a great option for anyone in their garage. And it's, it's easy, look at that. Boom. These are the regulators, uh, just, just a gas regulator. Yeah, we'll set that up in the future. So we're gonna do a setup video, guys. It's just an unboxing video. Okay, look at that. There we go. The Multimatic 215 welder. That's where your wire spool is gonna go. Here's that 120 volt plug for the multi-voltage plug right there. So you can use your 120. This welder is really cool as it is a multi-process welder. So you have your steel wire, you know, your MIG or your flux core, depending. Uh, aluminum wire welding MIG. So if you did want to do aluminum, but it would be with a spool gun, you could do that. You have your TIG welding parameters right here. So that's with the foot pedal and the torch. And then you got your stick welding parameters, which you're using you know, your stinger right here, your electrode stinger, and you're using your ground. So this does it all. It also changes, uh, shows you what you need to do on your polarity because depending on the type of work you're doing, you're gonna either do uh, direct current electro positive for solid wire, or you're going to do direct current electro negative for flux core wire. So depending on what you're doing, you know, you're gonna have to set all that stuff up, but this welder is super, super easy to use. Getting warm, we're getting warm. Here is your MIG gun right here. Look at that. It's your basic MIG gun right here. They do have an upgraded version of this that you can get a longer, um, you know, a longer footage on here. But for for me or for you guys, for the most part, if you're not using this thing like 24/7, uh, this is going to get you by. But eventually, if you need a longer gun, you can definitely order that. So you know that is an option there. Right here, this is where the wire feeds in, and right here, this is where it hooks up so that the trigger can tell it when to go. Feed the wire through, you'll put on your tip, depending on your size of wire that you're using. Like I said, we got 030, so we'll put that on. Then we would put this back on. If you're using flux core, there's actually no need for this because uh, flux core has its shielding gas within the wire itself. Well, the wire itself makes a, uh, makes a shielding gas when it burns so you don't have to use this it's really unnecessary this is more just for uh for mig only for when you're using gas this is an awesome accessory right here for the millermatic 215 or the multimatic 215 sorry multimatic because we are doing multiple processes this is our tig stuff Everything you need to do TIG welding should be in here. Don't quote me on that. There might not be tungsten. Uh, I'm not sure. And obviously it doesn't come with argon. You'll, you're gonna have to get your own bottle of argon, which I have already sitting over here. So not a big deal. Um, I also have a bottle of CO2, but I need to get a 75-25 mix because it'll weld a little bit cleaner. So there is your gas pressure regulator for the argon gas with the foot pedal for the TIG torch. So obviously this is basically like a potentiometer that when you push down, it gets more to 100% and you know, it varies with how much gas you give it. It's basically like a throttle for your welder to dial in how much amperage your TIG torch is outputting. We got the gas line. So it comes with the gas line for the argon gas. And this is the final good right here. And we're gonna see if it comes with tungsten in here in a second. But here is the TIG torch. There is the head and the handle of the torch. There is a tungsten in there. This is not sharpened. Let's see if the other end is sharpened. Nope, this end is not sharpened. So gonna have to sharpen up the tungsten or else that is not gonna work at all. But it did come with a piece of tungsten in there. So that is awesome. As you can see, a decent amount of hose here. It's super cool. A little accessory pack. And that's what I was curious on. Four pieces of tungsten in varying different sizes right here. And it came with multiple 
uh, gas shield. So it came with a number six here, five and a four, and also that little guy right there. This whole kit here is going to get you going. As far as welding goes, um, you're gonna be able to weld after you purchase all this stuff. I have to say, this thing's warm, but as we know, wearing the proper PPE when welding, things are dang warm. It's not a, it's not a cold sport. Definitely welding in the wintertime is kind of nice, right? Because we're already cool. Welding in the summertime, not as fun, but you make it happen, you sweat your butt off, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. I have one last item here. I think what I'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this Miller cart for the Multimatic 215. This thing is gonna be sick. Carries a bottle, which is just, it's just awesome. You're gonna be able to roll it around the shop. Let's get down to it. Time lapse underway. Let's go. Something that's really cool is the way Miller boxed up this hardware. As you can see, all the hardware is in this box. But that is sick. It's a nice little like blue case that after I build this thing, I'll be able to put my goodies in. So, good on ya. All right guys, so the cart is all put together. It took about 15 minutes or so, not too awful long. This thing is super nice. I love all the little tabs on it. It pushes, it rolls which is great that is super cool it has these little tabs right here for winding up cords for winding up uh, tig stuff your mig stuff whatever your stingers all that sort of stuff we got room for a bottle so little argon tank right here um i'm gonna need to get a 75 25 tank but... now they also make a dual bottle mount which i may have to get in the future because that would be that would be like super cool uh, to be able to have two bottles next to this thing. I think that would be awesome, especially now that I see the design of the rear of the machine. It has uh, areas for actually both gases to be hooked up whenever you want, which is super, super cool. Miller time. Sweet. Oh yeah, so it's gonna, it's gonna stay in place. That's awesome. Let's get the cords all rolled up. Go ahead and put my, uh, my hoses down here for now until I hook those all up. We are gonna do a how to set up the Miller welder for the different processes. So look forward to seeing those in the future, guys. Oh man, this thing looks so good. I'm gonna put a couple more things on the bottom. I think I can put my welding hood down there, which is super cool. Thanks a ton for watching. I know that was a pretty long video, but I just kind of wanted to go over all the stuff on this Miller welder. Man, this thing is gonna be sick. I can't wait to uh, start using this thing in the shop. All the processes, super cool. The cart is amazing. Uh, as you can see, it's just it's just pretty well set up. It's just very equipped. Um, like I said, they do have another option where you could do like a two bottle setup, which in the future I may do because it would be nice to put two bottles on this thing. Uh, what else do I see? I mean, these little these little mounts on the side are great because you could put your MIG gun, your TIG torch, your your you know, stinger, your ground cable, your power cable. All of that stuff very readily available and handy. Look at this little thing. So after we use that, we got the cool little blue organizer. We can keep all our tips and extra little things, possibly some extra tungsten and stuff like that. So anyways, we will talk to you soon, guys. Links in the description for all of this stuff. Huge shout out to Miller. Uh, yeah, this stuff is great. Like I said, always. Wrench on, guys. Later.